Hi guys, this is the Python series part 37. Now let's discuss about iterators. The built-in function iter takes an iterable object and returns an iterator. I repeat it again. The built-in function iter takes an iterable object like a list or tuple and returns an iterator. Okay, each time we call the next method on the iterator gives the next element. If there are no more elements, it raises a stop iteration error. Okay, now let's see this example. This is the name of the variable. I want to create the list of numbers 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60. Okay. 5 elements. So, numbers is the name of the list. Now, I use the iter inbuilt method. Okay. So, i t this is the name of the variable and numbers this is the name of the list object dot operator double underscore iter. Okay. So, this is the inbuilt method. Okay. So, this iter takes an iterable object. Here, iterable object is list. Okay. And returns an iterator. So, it is what? Iterator. So, what is iterator? The built-in function iter takes an iterable object. Anything. Okay. Here, I have used the list object. Okay. And returns iterator. Okay. Each time we call the next method on the iterator gives the next element. Okay. If I want to print this number on my console means I can use the next inbuilt method on this iterator object. I hope you all understood. Okay. Now I want to print 20 on my console. What I will do? I have to use the next inbuilt method on the iterator object. Okay. So, print it dot double underscore next inbuilt method. Okay. Let me execute this one. So, I got 20. So, I need this 40. So, what I will do? I have to use the next inbuilt method to get this number. After then, I have to use the next again. Then only I will get the 40. Okay. I just to copy this line and paste here. Okay. So, what is the output for this fourth statement? The second number 30. Okay. So, what is the output for the fifth statement? The third number 40. So, now let me execute the same again. So, I got these three numbers on my console. And I paste the same statement two times here. So, now I again execute the same. Now, I got all the elements from the list object. Okay. So, all the elements are printed here. Isn't it? So, if I try to use the next method again means what I will get? The stop iteration error. Okay. So, now. So, this eighth statement will produce the stop iteration exception. Okay. So, now let me execute the same again. See, this is my error. Okay. So, what is it? Here, stop iteration exception. Because here I have only 5 elements. That's why I got this type of error. Got it? We have another option. Okay. So, instead of using the iter inbuilt method that is uh, double underscore inter double underscore I can use 
the ITER inbuilt method. Okay, like IT is equal to ITER. Okay, instead of double underscore ITER double underscore, here I have used what? Only ITER. Inside the round brackets, now I pass the name of the object numbers. That is the list object. That's it. Okay. So, we can use either this iter or this iter. Okay. Both will give the same result. Okay. And here I have used double underscore next double underscore inbuilt method to get the next element. Isn't it? Here, instead of using this double underscore next double underscore, I can use print of next of it okay so we have two options either we use this or this either we use this next method or this is it clear okay let me execute this one now what is the result 20 so now i just copy this statement and paste six times here okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, here I have only 5 elements. So, I will get the stop iteration error. Isn't it? Let me execute the same again. So, here I got the error. Stop iteration. Okay. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All the elements were printed. Okay. This stop iteration is due to the last 17th line. Okay. So, we have two options. Iter or this iter. Next or this next method. Okay. So, what is iterator? The built-in function iter takes an iterable object and returns an iterator. So, this it is the iterator. This it is the iterator. Okay. I hope you all understood what is iterator. We have completed this session. If you have any doubts, drop the message in the comment section. If this video is useful to you, like and share. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon. Then only you will get the notification for my new updates. Have a nice day. Thank you.